So, the subject of this evening's talk is the climate of freedom. And I'd just like to say, first of all, how very grateful I am that the Tea Parties have been standing up for the freedoms that your founding fathers intended you to have. It's been an enormous encouragement to us who have largely lost our democracy in Britain because our, the European bureaucracy by stealth now governs us. You still have a real living democracy here in your republic and I for one admire it and I admire you. Give yourselves another round. <laughs> Now, I've been inquiring into what you need in order to convince people you're worth listening to. And I'm told that the document du jour is a freshly minted Hawaiian birth certificate. So here's mine. And it is... And it is every bit as genuine as that of the President of the United States. <laughs> Just very briefly on this, to back Tom uh, Valentine up. Uh, come on, sir, pay attention. That's it. <laughs> we'll be tested on this later, so I do want to observation. Thank you. This particular slide was produced by a forensic expert whom I consulted on this matter. I told him to make a blank Hawaiian birth certificate form, and then get a typewriter and simply type in Barack Obama's data into it. And that's what he's done. As you'll see, it's all nicely registered by the left. All the lines are absolutely regular. That's what you would expect to see in a genuine birth certificate. Let's now look at what happened on the actual Obama birth certificate. There you will see it's all over the place, and the grid has been superimposed upon it, so you can see there are letters out of alignment, words going up when they should go down, and vice versa, words not in line with each other, even though they're on the same line. This is all over the place. It was clearly an electronic cut-and-paste job, and not an original document. And that really is all you need to know about the birth certificate. In two words, it's bogus. <laughs> and that's all I propose to say about it. You've heard enough from Tom on that. My main topic today is global warming, but before I move on to that, I do want you all to be very generous when the large hats get passed round for the cold case posse. And I'm going to levy $30 per head as the minimum that I want you to put in. Because <laughs> I do want you to be generous. The, the, the sheriff is having to do all this without using taxpayers' money. If he is to continue this investigation properly, he does need your help. Now, I am not a member of the posse, though I may look like it. <laughs> and I may even sound like it. You can tell by my accent that I'm from Texas. But <laughs> the fact is, he does need your help. I'm not an official member of the posse, or even an unofficial member. I don't have any more knowledge about what it's doing than it has given out in public. But I do want you to help as vigorously and as generously as you can when the hat is passed round. I want to smash that $5,000 target, and if there's anybody here who will give $10,000 or more, if they're a man, I'll shake them by the hand, and if they're a woman, I'll kiss them. Now, there's an intention. <laughs> All right, moving along then to the next slide. 